Hello, this is Bob Smith from Sarcom Marine. And we have in front of us the ICOM ICM803 Marine MFHF SSB transceiver. And we're going to look at in this video is the DSC side, the digital selected calling side of the radio. On the bottom here we have smart buttons. One over here says uh, compose distress, this one says compose other. We can also get at these two functions by pressing the menu button. And there is compose distress, compose other. We can turn the knob and go and select them. So compose distress, compose other, takes you to the exactly the same screens as pressing the two buttons along the bottom. To compose the distress, press the button, it comes up and says undesignated. That's the, the uh, type of distress we're going to send is undesignated. We can change the designation by pressing enter. And we can now scroll, either scroll up and down or turn the knob and select the nature of our distress. And all the uh, usual distress options are available to us. Run overboard, piracy, etc. So we can go and select uh, fire explosion and press enter. So we selected fire explosion. It's got our position because the ICOM M803 has a built-in uh, GPS, so it knows where we are. And uh, it's saying that we're going to send this uh, uh, DSC on multiple frequencies. It means it's going to go out on all six uh, DSC distress frequencies. We can change that, press enter. We can now go down and select which DSC frequency we want to send it on. If you only go and select that frequency, it will only send it on 2187.5. It won't send it on the others, where the default is to send it on all distress frequencies. Press Enter. So we're now going to send our distress on 2187.5. Once it sends the distress on 2187.5, it does take about 30 seconds to do that. But once it's sent that, the radio will automatically go to the radio telephone frequency. And the radio telephone frequency to, for 2187.5 is 2182. So once the DSC has been transmitted, it takes about 30 seconds, the radio will then go to 2182. To send the distress, says at the top here, compose distress, push distress for th three seconds. And the distress button is clearly marked distress. We're not going to send a distress, so we can press exit. Come back to the main radio screen. Press Compose. We can now uh, send individual calls uh, where it says address. It wants the MMSI number of the station we're uh, sending the individual call to. It's a routine call and at the DSE frequency 2177, which is the DSE uh, ship to ship routine call. Uh, voice communications will follow on 2134. You can go into uh, address, press enter, and uh, here at Salcom Marine, we program a range of uh, shore stations, coast guards into the radio. On the corner of the boat, press menu. Now we can put the MMSI number of the other station we wish to call. Press finish. So it's an individual call to this MMSI number. We can send the DSC on 2177, the voice communications 2134, but again we can change that. We can go down the list and select from the list a suitable voice channel. So the DSC is going to get sent on 2177 and uh, once it's acknowledged the voice communications will follow on 2306. All we need to do now is press the call button and we send that call. We then wait for the acknowledgement from this station. Press back. Takes you back to the, the uh, main radio screen. Press compose call. We looked at individual. We can change it so you can do a group call. Go down and put in the group MMSI number. So you can either mainly put it in, or you may have a a group MSI number already entered into your directory. So we're going to send our uh, 
Group call to the Yachtcon Group. The DSC will be sent on 8415. The DSC uh, ship to uh, ship frequency. Uh, follow up communications will follow on 8122. But again, we can change that to which frequency we want to send our voice communications on. So we're now going to send the DSC out on 8415. Once that's been sent, the radio will uh, go to 8294 um, for voice communications. All we need to do is press the call button to send that call. Go back into Compose Other and we can uh, go up to Individual. So it's the same process throughout. And this time we can look at geographical areas. Geographical areas are for urgency and safety calls. Press enter. You can now see it's a geographical call. Called geographical because it's restricted to 500 miles. So any vessels more than 500 miles shouldn't receive the call. And we're sending a uh, DSC safety call. But we can change that. Safety, urgency. Then we're now going to send a DSC urgency call. We're going to be sent on 2187.5. All boats around us will pick that call up. But again, you can change that call frequency. Set the frequency. And it's saying that our voice communications, this is an urgency call, so the pan pan we sent on 2182. But again, that is changeable. You can go in, select some other frequency if you wish to send a pan pan on some other frequency. So we're going to send our DSC geographical call out on 2187.5. Our, our uh, follow up voice communications will follow on 2214. All we need to do is press call to send that call. Finally, Go back on to, to uh, individual and we can do a test call. Select test. Go into the address book and select the station you wish to test with. I usually find uh, from here in the south of the UK, the Spanish uh, quite often pick us up. Then we go down to uh, Corona in Spain. Um, but we need to change the frequency. And the best frequency I usually find is 8414.5 kilohertz. So we're going to send a DSC test call. It's going to go to La Corona in Spain. It's class as a safety call, and the frequency it's going to be transmitted on is 8414.5. To send that call, all we need to do is press the call button. Transmits the call on 8414.5. Takes about 10 seconds. Once the call has been transmitted, we now wait for the acknowledgement. I usually suggest if you don't get an acknowledgement after about 60 seconds, either they didn't receive the call or you didn't receive the acknowledgement back from them. I'm not going to get an acknowledgement from them this time then. I've got an option here to resend the call. So if you after 60 seconds, haven't received an acknowledgement, we can always uh, resend that call out again. Button here puts you back, puts you back into standby mode. Here is a insert of a DSE test call I did earlier, which was acknowledged by Corona. And you can do a test call. So go and select test, and go and select the station you wish to test with. This afternoon we will test with uh, Corona in Spain, I think. And if you want to test with that station, we have to change our frequency to 8414.5. So I'm going to change this to test. I've selected the short station I'm testing with, which is Corona in Spain. I've selected the frequency 8414.5. All I have to do now is press the call button for once. And off goes our call. It transmits the call, it takes about 10 seconds. Once it's transmitted the call, we're now waiting for the acknowledgement to come back from Spain. Uh, 
usually suggest uh, wait about uh, 60 seconds for the acknowledgement. There we are. So we've now received the acknowledgement from Spain. So we didn't have to wait too long. Finally, all the calls that have been received and transmitted are logged. Press the menu button and we can go into where it says DSC log. Press enter and there is the calls we received and the calls we've transmitted. Go into distress or other, go into other and there is the uh, DSC uh, acknowledgements we've received. And we've made DSC test calls. So acknowledged from Corona Safety Corps on 8414.5. Go back and another one from Corona. And we can go back and we can look at the calls that we've uh, transmitted. So those are the test calls that we've transmitted on this radio over the last few days. So that's a, a quick overview of the ICOM ICM803 as set up from Salcom Marine. Thank you for watching.